Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be giving you the only way to make a narcissist respect you. And if that sounds good to you, please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The only way to make a narcissist respect you. Narcissists are very disrespectful. They are discourteous, impolite, uncivil, and ill-mannered. They act in an insulting way in a way that is intended to give offence, to where they may treat you with indignity and contempt. They devalue anything they have access to, anything they are able to use or obtain, because they see it as though if it's accessible to them, it can't be that good. As beneath their grandiose delusions, they are actually very insecure. So as soon as they've gotten you right where they wanted you, and they know you're not going anywhere, that is when they begin devaluing you. And you suddenly go from being the best thing since sliced bread to breadcrumbs. The narcissist drastically reduces your value until you crave the person you saw during the idealization phase. And you run endlessly on this hamster wheel trying to please them in an attempt to bring that person back. Well, that just causes you to sink deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole to where they will never respect you and they will keep demanding more from you but they will never be satisfied because they will know your weaknesses and they will feel like they have control over you which is why if you want to make a narcissist respect you the first thing you have to do is distance yourself because the closer you are to a narcissist the less they will respect you. Which is why you should not depend on the narcissist for anything. And instead, you should stay independent, both emotionally and financially, so that you are free, for them, free from their control. Because if you need them for anything, they will feel like they can treat you however they like. Because they will think you're not going to leave. While if you stay emotionally and financially independent, they will respect you more. They will avoid words or behavior that could be offensive or upsetting to you, because then they will recognize that you don't really need them. So they may fear losing you, especially if you still have something of value that they want, such as your influence or reputation or especially if you are a celebrity or business owner. Because they tend to respect people in powerful or authoritative positions, they want to be on the good side of those types of people. So they will continue to respect you, because it makes them look good if they're around a powerful and successful person. It gives them supply, which makes them feel good about themselves. So if they're getting supply from your social position, they will respect you. Especially if you hold a position of power and control over them. Narcissists respect anyone who has power over them, such as a CEO, a lawyer, or a judge. Especially if they can see that other people respect you more, then they will stay in the background. They will shy away. They will be reluctant to carry on with what they normally do. They won't devalue and degrade you because they don't want to deal with the backlash. They don't want to be the recipient of an adverse reaction, especially by a large number of people because their false image is very important to them. So if you're in a position of power over them, they will have a need to look good in front of you. They will need you to be respecting them. And if they believe that you do value and respect them, they will respect you more. Because it's only when they think you're onto them that all hell breaks loose. So instead, you need to just go along with it. Act like you don't know who they are. 
Let them think that you still respect them. Give them the flattery, admiration and praise that they so desperately crave and need. But don't let them think you're a pushover, because they will see that as a weakness. They will see you as someone who is easy to overcome and influence, a walkover, an unworthy opponent, who they can easily persuade to do what they want. Which is why you need to be confident and self-assured. You need to be commanding and authoritative, because then you are more likely to be respected and obeyed. Narcissists are looking for people who they can control, people who they can get supply from. If they can't get supply from you, and they can't control you, then they will respect you more. Which is why you need to set strong boundaries, while being aware that they will throw a tantrum, because they do not want you to set those boundaries. So they will yell and scream in the hopes that you will eventually give in because they are toddlers in adult bodies and they've already groomed you. They've conditioned you to be who they need you to be and to do what they want you to do. So they expect you to give in eventually if they act a certain way, if they create to maintain a state of fear and distress in you, if they fill you with terror and anxiety or they coerce you with force and threats. At some point they expect you to give in, which is why they want you to be afraid of their reaction. But the truth is that if you set strong boundaries and you do not sway on what you're willing to accept or what you will not accept, then they will eventually give in. Because narcissists play on our fears, weaknesses or faults. So if you are secure with yourself, then they will be unable to face you. They will be unable to get you to do what they want you to do and they will be unable to achieve what they want. Which is why the number one way to command respect from a narcissist is to show them that you are not afraid of them. If you are not afraid of the narcissist, then they will be far more afraid of you. Because all they can really do is provoke fear in you to cause you to lose control. But your fears and anxiety are based on the anticipation, expectation or prediction that something will happen, rather than the actual occurrence or the, or, of the action or event. And when you realise that, they lose the power to control you. They lose the ability to cause discomfort and embarrassment because they can no longer trigger you. So they can no longer get supply from it. And if they can no longer get supply from it, then they will no longer want to be there. And instead, they will run off to find a more unsuspecting target because you have commanded respect from the narcissist. So they will no longer see you as something to mess with. You have stopped enabling them. You have stopped giving them the means to do what they want to do. So they can no longer get supply from you because you're not willing to be the person they want you to be, which means that they will respect you more, because otherwise, everything is optional for them. Where they can choose to do something if they want to, but they're not obligated. It's not something they have to do, while everything is not optional for you, which is why they do not respect you, because they can run amok. They can do whatever they want, they can behave uncontrollably and disruptively while well, you're required and expected to play by the rules, which is not something that they respect. They respect people who they work for rather than people who do trivial things for them, which is why you have to stop doing everything for them by recognizing that they have the ability so that you stop enabling them because otherwise they're going to behave like a toddler. They're going to scream louder and longer while they're observing your reaction to see if you're falling for it and to see if it's working. But if they don't get what they want, they will begin to respect you, especially when you stop seeking validation from them because you're expecting something that you could quite easily give to yourself. 
which is why you must stop putting yourself down and stop depending on their validation or their belief in you by recognizing that you can do things on your own and you don't need them to think that you're smart or attractive. Because how a person treats you is a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves. They don't like themselves and that is why they mistreat you. While if a person feels good about themselves, then they treat people well. Which is why you shouldn't take it personally. Because it has more to do with them than it does to do with you. So stop seeking their validation. Stop caring about what they think about you. They will actually respect you more if you don't care what they think about you because then you'll be unauthentic and authenticity scares them because they're fake so it confuses them. They don't know how to deal with someone who loves and respects themselves because those are qualities they don't have. They feel empty inside which is why they always have to find ways to justify their actions and they expect you to make excuses for it. They want you to see it as a game or as a joke and if you do, they will never respect you. So you need to stop making excuses for them. Otherwise, you are permitting their bad behavior because you are accepting of it. But you also need to stop trying to control them because you can't control what another person does. Instead, you need to be in your frame, in your own world, so that you can be independent by not taking their bait and by not blaming them for how you feel. Because by doing that, you are giving them the power. You are giving them the ability to dictate how you feel. So stop giving them your time and energy. They are not worth it because no matter how much you give them, you are not going to change them. You are just going to end up depleted because they have a void that can never be filled. They have a scarcity mentality and they are constantly in survival mode because they're trying to fill this void and you may be trying to fill it, but no matter how much you give to them, it will never be enough they're still not going to be satisfied and you will be exhausted because they will drain the life out of you and you will never have your needs met. Which is why if you want the narcissist respect, you have to distance yourself from them. You have to walk away. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.